cleanse the site in a circular motion from the center outward. This technique helps to make the center of the site as pathogen-free as possible. A medical assistant is cleaning an examination room after assisting a provider with a biopsy. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Hold sharps by the blunt end to avoid a needle stick injury. A MA receives a phone call from a patient who seems anxious about the results of a test. Which of the following responses should the assistant make? A medical assistant is caring for a patient who is 5'7 tall. Which of the following is the patient's height in centimeters? 170 centimeters. Formula multiply the length value by 30.48. A MA is collecting a urine specimen from a patient for a drug screening. Which of the following actions should the assistant take to adhere to the chain of custody for this specimen? Send the specimen to the testing laboratory on the same day as the collection. The assistant should send the specimen and completed request to the testing laboratory on the same day as the collection. When assisting a provider with a punch biopsy of a mole, which of the following tasks should a MA expect to perform? Receive and prepare tissue specimens for processing. The assistant is responsible for receiving and preparing tissue specimens obtained from a punch biopsy for processing by the laboratory. A medical assistant is preparing to calculate a patient's heart rate from an EKG tracing which of the following methods should the assistant use for this calculation? Divide 1500 by the number of small boxes between two R waves. Use this 1500 method to calculate a full cardiac cycle. Which of the following items included on the CMS 1500 claim form should a medical assistant recognize as indicating the medical necessity of a procedure? Diagnosis code. A diagnosis code indicates the medical necessity for the performance of a procedure or provided treatment. Without a supported diagnosis the provider will not receive reimbursement for the procedure. A MA is talking with a patient who is experiencing home displacement following a hurricane. To which of the following resources should the assistant refer the patient for information, support and links to community services? American Red Cross The primary purpose of the American Red Cross is to provide crucial disaster response services. The American Red Cross also coordinates mental health resources for survivors of disasters. Which of the following instructions should a medical assistant give to a patient when administering an enteric coated tablet? Swallow the tablet whole with a glass of water. Enteric coated tablets should not be crushed, chewed or dissolved. The tablets need to arrive in the small intestines whole. A MA is reinforcing teaching with a patient about the self-administration of insulin injections. Which of the following patient statements indicates an understanding of the teaching? A medical assistant is composing business correspondence using the simplified letter style. Which of the following features should the assistant use? A subject line in all capital letters. A medical assistant is speaking with a patient who had seasonal allergies. Which of the following healthcare providers should the assistant identify as being able to make a diagnosis and initiate the necessary treatment? Physician assistant. As a licensed healthcare provider, a physician assistant is able to manage patient care, make a diagnosis and initiate treatment which includes writing Rx for medication. Which of the following cardiac procedures is within a medical assistant's scope of practice and does not require a licensed technician or provider to assist or perform it? Holter Monitor Application A Holter Monitor is a system for recording cardiac activity for 24 hours or longer. It is within an assistant's scope of practice to place and remove a Holter Monitor. A medical assistant works at an urgent care center that uses open hours scheduling. Which of the following describes this form of scheduling? 
patients arrive at their convenience and are seen on a first-come first-served basis. A medical assistant is measuring a patient's oxygen saturation with a pulse oximeter. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Check capillary refill in the patient's finger. If capillary refill is adequate, the assistant should apply the sensor to the patient's finger. If not, an earlobe or the nose should provide an accurate measurement. An adolescent is covered by two insurance policies under her divorced parents who have birthdays in May and August and have joint custody. Which policy is the primary policy for the adolescent? The policy of the parent that has the earliest birth month. Which of the following laboratory results should the medical assistant recognize as abnormal? Potassium 3 mcl This potassium level is below the expected reference range of 3.5 to 5 mcT. A medical assistant is using a scale with a height bar to measure a patient's height. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Lower the horizontal bar gently so that it rests on the top of the patient's head. A medical assistant is disposing of the syringe and needle she used to inject a seasonal influenza vaccine. Which of the following actions should the AM take? Drop the syringe needle first into the biohazardous shops container. Which of the following terms should a medical assistant use to tell a provider that a patient is having discomfort and difficulty breathing? Dyspnea. Dyspnea is a term used to indicate that a pint is experiencing difficult or painful breathing. A MA is entering a new RX into a patient's electronic medical record. While entering the RX, an alert notifying the assistant of a medication interaction appears on the screen. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Consult with the provider before continuing to process the RX. If an alert appears while entering a RX into an M, the assistant should recognize that the provider needs to be consulted due to the medication's potential interactions with other medications or certain foods. A medical assistant is reinforcing teaching with a patient about pulse osimetry. Which of the following statements should the assistant include in the teaching? Remove your nail polish before the test. There is a light on the osimetry probe that measures a patient's pulse and oxygen saturation. Nail polish can affect the reading if it interferes with the light. A medical assistant is reviewing a patient's recent medical history and notes that she has a healing fracture of the distal femur. Where on the patient's body should the assistant expect to find the injury? Just above the knee, the femur is the longest and strongest bone in the body. It connects the hip to the knee. The term distal refers to a point farthest away from the trunk of the body. Therefore, the distal femur would be located above the knee. A medical assistant is administering an intramuscular injection into the gluteus medius of an adult patient. At which of the following angles should the assistant insert the needy? 90 degrees angle. A 90 degrees angle is used primarily for intramuscular injections in adult patients. A medical assistant is transcribing a prescription for magnesium sulfate into a patient's medical record. Which of the following should the assistant use to document this medication? Magnesium sulfate. No abbreviations. MA is obtaining a blood pressure measurement from an adult patient. Which of the following actions should the assistant take to ensure an accurate reading? Place the stethoscope's diaphragm over the patient's palpated artery. The MA should place the diaphragm with a stethoscope over the patient's brachial artery and then apply pressure. Applying pressure directly over the artery will allow the assistant to obtain a more accurate reading. A provider prescribes oxycodone for a patient after abdominal surgery. Which of the following describes this type of medication? Oxycodone is a Schedule II controlled substance and has a high potential for abuse.
when performing the palpatory method for obtaining blood pressure, which of the following indicates the level at which the medical assistant should inflate the cuff? 30 mm Hg above the radial pulse cessation. The palpatory method requires the Aston to inflate the cuff 30 mm Hg above the cessation of the radial pulse. A medical assistant needs to remove all living microorganisms from a contaminated towel gland. Which of the following methods should the assistant use to cleanse this instrument? Sterilization. Sterilization destroys all microbial life, including bacterial spores through physical or chemical methods. This is the method the assistant should use to cleanse the towel gland. A MA is caring for a 4-month-old infant who has a temperature of 100.4 Fahrenheit. Which of the following is this temperature when converted to Celsius? 38C formula X5 9th equal 38 degrees Celsius. A MA is explaining to a female patient how to collect a clean cat urine specimen. Which of the following instructions should the assistant include? With the labia spread urinate a small amount into the toilet before collecting the sample. A MA is writing a piece of professional correspondence to a consulting provider. In which of the following ways should the assistant record the date on the letter? January 1, 2021. Write the name of the month and follow it with the date and year. A MA is testing a patient's visual acuity using a Snellen chart. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Make sure the PT does not lean forward during the test. If the patient leans forward the distance from the chart will be altered and the test results would be inaccurate. Which of the following techniques should a medical assistant use to confirm a patient's understanding of insulin administration? Observe the PT as they perform a self-demonstration. Having the PT physically demonstrate their understanding of insulin administration allows the assistant to evaluate their comprehension. A medical assistant is reviewing the list of medications a patient reports currently taking. The assistant should recognize that which of the following medications is available in a sublingual form. Nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin is a vasodilator that is used to treat angina or chest pain. It is available in a sublingual tablet and sublingual spray. A MA is assisting with the physical examination of a patient who has scabies. Besides gloves, which of the following pieces of PPE should the assistant wear? Gown. Upon requests a female provider to perform her examination due to a religious conviction, a female provider is not available. Which of the following is the appropriate response by the medical assistant? Assist the PT in locating a provider to accommodate the PT's needs. Which of the following cell structures is the source of energy for a cell? Mitochondria. Mitochondria assist with converting energy from nutrients into a form that can be used by cells. A medical assistant is administering heparin subcutaneously to a patient. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? A patient asks a MA to explain the difference between a liniment and a medicated lotion. Which of the following responses should the assistant make? Liniments contain higher portion of oil than medicated lotions. Liniments are made to contain a higher portion of oil than medicated lotions in order to protect dry and cracked skin. Which of the following laboratory value should a medical assistant immediately report to a patient's provider? Blood glucose 500 mg per deciliter. This blood glucose level is higher than the expected reference range of 70 to 110 mg per deciliter. A medical assistant should follow chain of custody guidelines for which of the following types of laboratory results? Parentage testing. Chain of custody guidelines apply to drug screens, forensic studies, blood alcohol levels and parentage testing. 
which of the following groups of EKG leads are bipolar? Leads 1, 2, and 3 are three bipolar limb leads that make up Einovin's triangle. A MA is preparing to administer a liquid medication to a patient. Which of the following methods should the assistant use to ensure the correct dose is delivered? Pour the medication to the prescribed dose in the medicine cup on a flat surface. Place the medicine cup on a flat surface at eye level and pour the medication to the prescribed dose mark. Which of the following EKG artifacts is caused by a disconnected electrode and results in the tracing going into the margins of the paper? Interrupted baseline. Interrupted baseline is caused by an electrical disconnection or a detached electrode and results in the tracing moving into the margins of the paper. A MA is preparing to create a report about patients who have a family history of breast cancer. Which of the following types of software will allow the assistant to sort, retrieve, and combine information for this report? Database management. The MA should use a database management system to sort and retrieve information quickly. A database allows the MA to track specific information and create customized applications to sort the information and create reports. A MA is encouraging a patient to increase her intake of insoluble fiber to help prevent constipation and hemorrhoids. Which of the following foods should the assistant recommend as the best source of insoluble fiber? Pears with skin. A medium pear with skin contains 4 grams of insoluble fiber per serving. In which of the following locations should a medical assistant place the electrode for lead V4? The fifth intercostal space, left midclavicular line, is the correct location to place electrode V4. Where should a medical assistant place the electrode for lead V5? On the left mid axillary line, horizontal to V4. A medical assistant is using a butterfly needle set to obtain a blood sample from a vein in a patient's hand. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Hold the nutty by its WNGS. Hold the needle by its wings. Holding the butterfly needle by its wings helps the MA control the needle. A MA is measuring the circumference of an infant's hand. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Place a zero mark of the measuring tape against the infant's forehead. A MA is preparing a patient who has intermittent peripheral cyanosis for an examination by the provider. The assistant should understand that healthy perfusion of the hands and feet depends on adequate interaction between which of the following two body systems? Circulatory and respiratory. The respiratory system works in conjunction with the circulatory system to provide oxygen to the body. A medical assistant is preparing to perform a capillary collection from an older adult patient who has poor circulation in his hands. Which of the following techniques should the assistant use to increase circulation at the collection site? Warm the PT hand. This can help increase circulation and bring capillaries to the surface of the hand. A MA is contacting a patient to schedule a repeat papanicolate test due to abnormal results. The assistant should identify that which of the following factors can interfere with the test results. Using an over-the-counter vaginal cream prior to the test. A punch should avoid using over-the-counter vaginal creams prior to the test. According to OSHA guidelines for universal precautions, which of the following types of patient contact would require a medical assistant to wear gloves, mask, a face shield, and protective apparel? Assisting a provider with the removal of a cyst, OSHA designates assisting with minor surgical procedures as a Category 1 task which means the MA is at risk for exposure to blood, bodily fluids, body tissues and the possibility of splashes and spills. These tasks require an MA to wear complete PPE. A medical assistant is responsible for cleaning the instruments used in a minor surgery. Which of the following is the first step in this process?
Sanitization. Sanitization is the first step of cleaning instruments. All instruments that come into contact with a pine skin should be sanitized before proceeding with disinfection and sterilization. Which of the following actions should a MA take to verify the quality of venipuncture supplies before beginning a blood draw? Inspect the integrity of the needle seal. A medical assistant is preparing a patient who has bilateral below the knee amputations for an EKG. Which of the following sites should the assistant select for electrode placement? Abdomen. The assistant should place the electrodes on the abdomen or thighs of a person who has it below the knee amputation. A provider examines an older adult patient who is disabled and has a lesion on her arm. A medical assistant should anticipate a referral for this patient to which of the following ancillary services? Home health care. Home health care organizations provide assistance with medications, wound care and other services that need to be provided in a patient's place of residence. Which of the following cell structures is instrumental in helping the body mobilize and secrete mucus from the respiratory tract? Cilia. Cilia are hair-like projections found in the lungs that are capable of movement and are instrumental in helping with mobilizing and secreting mucus from the respiratory tract. A provider has requested a dissecting instrument on a sterile tray that a medical assistant is preparing. Which of the following instruments should the assistant include on the tray? Scissors. Scissors are considered cutting and dissecting instruments because they include a sharp blade or surface that can cut, dissect, or scrape. A medical assistant has requested a pre-authorization for a patient's referral to a specialist. Which of the following is a reason for the claim submitted by the specialist to be denied? This service is provided after the expiration date. An authorization provided for a specialist indicates the range of dates for evaluation and treatment. Any action taken outside of this range is subject to denial of payment. During a routine venipuncture, the patient becomes pale and diaphoretic. What condition is most likely to occur in this patient? Syncope. The assistant should recognize these manifestations as the onset of syncope and should take the necessary precautions in case the patient faints. A MA is measuring the vital signs of an adult patient. The assistant should identify which of the following blood pressure readings as stage 2 hypertension. 150-95 mm Hg. The MA should identify that a blood pressure value of 150-95 mm Hg indicates stage 2 hypertension. Stage 2 hypertension is indicated by a systolic pressure of greater than 140 mm Hg or a diastolic pressure of greater than 90 mm Hg. The parent of a child who has pediculosis is asking a MA for more information about her child's condition. The assistant should begin by explaining that pediculosis is which of the following types of infection? Parasitic, also known as lice, is a common parasitic infection that is highly contagious. Which of the following information should the MA enter into the appointment calendar when scheduling a patient for a skin rash? Daytime phone number. The MA should enter the PT's name, daytime phone number and a brief description of the purpose of the PT's visit. A medical assistant is preparing 1 gram per kilogram of activated charcoal for a patient who weighs 176 pounds. How many grams of charcoal should the assistant prepare? 79 grams. Formula 176 0.45 equals 79.2. Which of the following is outside of a medical assistant's scope of practice? Order additional lab tests to confirm the patient's condition. A medical assistant is performing spirometry testing for a patient who has shortness of breath. Which of the following results of the spirometry test indicates a successful maneuver? A fast and steady flow with no variability must also be consistent with two other spirometry maneuvers. 
A MA discovers a garbage can fire has started in the break room of the medical office. According to the RACE acronym for emergency response, which of the following actions should the assistant take first? Evacuate staff and patients from the immediate area. Using the RACE acronym the first action the assistant should take is to remove staff and patients who are in immediate danger from the fire. A medical assistant is checking a patient's hearing using the Weber test. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Ask the patient if hears the vibration louder in one ear than the other. The Weber test is used to determine if a patient's hearing is better in one ear than the other. A MA is explaining a venipuncture procedure to a patient. Which of the following statements should the assistant make? I'll be collecting a blood sample from you today. There will be a small stick in your arm. This statement offers the patient sufficient information about the venipuncture procedure. A medical assistant is scheduling diagnostic tests for a patient's liver and pancreas. Which of the following systems is being assessed? Digestive. The liver and pancreas are both accessory organs to the digestive system. Performing diagnostic tests on these organs provides assessment data about the digestive system. A medical assistant is preparing to assist a provider with suturing a wound. Which of the following items should be in the sterile field for this procedure? Hemostat. A hemostat would be used in a suturing procedure and must be located in the sterile field. A patient tells a medical assistant that his provider's office is incompetent as there is no improvement in his condition. Which of the following is an appropriate response for the assistant? I think that you feel that your treatment is not effective. This response validates the PT's feelings. A medical assistant is assisting a provider with an abdominal examination. When the provider palpates the major portion of the liver, the assistant should recognize that he is palpating which of the following abdominal quadrants. Right upper. The right upper quadrant contains the major portion of the ever. It is also the quadrant that contains the gallbladder. A MA is preparing a patient who has psoriasis to be examined by the provider. When inspecting the patient's skin lesions, the assistant should expect to observe which of the following characteristics. Silvery scaly. Psoriasis is a chronic skin disease characterized by pink or red lesions with scaly patches that have a silvery appearance. A medical assistant is removing sutures from a patient who has a laceration on his left lower leg after setting up the sterile field. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Lift the first knot away from the skin. This allows room for the assistant to sip one tip of the suture scissors under the suture. A medical assistant is reviewing laboratory requisitions. For which of the following patient conditions should the assistant perform a capillary collection rather than a venipuncture? Previous thrombosis. The MA should consider a capillary puncture when the amount of blood needed is minimal and the patient has a history of thrombosis. Prior to a patient's follow-up appointment, which of the following information should a medical assistant report to the provider? Recent laboratory results. Report recent lab results prior to the PT's visit so the provider can review them with the PT during the follow-up. A punt reports getting a bill that includes services she did not receive. Which of the following actions should a MA take to reconcile these charges? A MA is preparing a community resource library. Which of the following actions should the assistant take first? Compile a list of local community agencies. The first step the MA should take is to research, identify and create a list of available local community resources and services. A MA is speaking with a pint who recently received a terminal diagnosis. The PT states, I regret not taking better care of myself. Now, I won't be able to accomplish what I wanted to do with my life. The MA should identify that the PT is in which of the following stages of grief? Depression.
Which of the following actions should a medical assistant take when attaining the length of an infant during a well-child visit? Position the infant on his back on an examination table with a paper cover and then draw a line on the paper at the infant's hand and a line at the heel of the extended legs. A provider places an open sharps container in the linen hamper by mistake. Which of the following is the appropriate action for the medical assistant to take? Dispose of the linen hamper contents as a biohazard. A MA should use which of the following solutions to prepare a patient's skin prior to drying blood cultures? Chlorhexidine Chlorhexidine is an antiseptic agent that is used to clean skin before a blood draw. At work, a MA cared for a neighbor who sustained multiple injuries in a fall. After work, another neighbor asks the MA what happened to the neighbor who fell. Following the American Association of Medical Assistants Code of Ethics, which of the following responses should the MA make? I can't share any information about what happens at my job. It is the assistant's responsibility to remain within the legal scope of practice and the OMA Code of Ethics by maintaining patient confidentiality. A medical assistant has a blood pressure cuff inflated and partially opens the valve to deflate as he listens with a stethoscope. When should he read the diastolic pressure? When the sound disappears, the assistant should measure the patient's diastolic pressure when the sound disappears, also known as the coat coffee sound. A medical assistant is discussing information with a patient about a new medication that the provider prescribed. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Preparing to apply ointment to several abrasions on a patient's leg. Which of the following supplies should the medical assistant use to remove the medication from the jar? A tongue blade. After removing the wrapping use a tongue blade to remove the correct amount of ointment from the jar and spread it on the patient's abrasion. When informed consent is required for a procedure, which of the following steps should occur prior to the patient signing the form? The provider should review alternative procedures with the patient. Which of the following items in a medical office are considered administrative office supplies? Letterhead, envelopes and business cards. When completing documentation in a patient's paper medical record, a medical assistant realizes she made an error. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Draw a line through the error and initial it. The assistant should draw a line through the error, insert the correction, write the date next to the correction and initial or sign the correction. A medical assistant in an outpatient facility is preparing a patient for venipuncture. Which of the following actions should the assistant take to confirm the patient's identity? Ask the PT to state and spell their full name and provide their date of birth. Compare it with the requisition form and labels. Which of the following groups of EKG leads are bipolar? Leads 1, 2, and 3 are 3 bipolar limb leads that make up Eindhoven's triangle. A MA is testing a patient's visual acuity using a Snellen chart. Which of the following actions should the assistant take? Make sure the PT does not lean forward during the test. If the patient leans forward the distance from the chart will be altered and the test results would be inaccurate. A medical assistant is administering an intramuscular immunization to a patient. Which of the following actions should the medical assistant take? Cleanse the site in a circular motion from the center outward. This technique helps to make the center of the site as pathogen-free as possible. Which of the following cardiac procedures is within a medical assistant's scope of practice and does not require a licensed technician or provider to assist or perform it? Holter Monitor Application A Holter Monitor is a system for recording cardiac activity for 24 hours or longer. It is within an assistant scope of 